It's coffee time. Good morning, guys, and welcome back to the vlogs. So today is Monday morning, and I decided, you know, new week, new me. We're gonna start vlogging again. And I also have a new routine. I'm trying to wake up every day at six o'clock. It has been hard, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, because I was used to waking up like at seven, and that hour makes a big difference. So I'm trying to wake up every day at six, be at the gym by seven, and then come back home and start working so that I feel like that I would have more productive days. So I successfully went to the gym today. So, so now that I'm back from the gym, I feel like it's time to make coffee uh, because honestly working out at 7 a.m. without coffee in my body, it's hard. <laughs> so when I get home, I'm like craving the juice. So I'm gonna need some coffee now. We're gonna make some coffee. We're gonna have a shower. And sadly, I cannot start reading yet because I have to work, you know, adulting is hard. So I'm gonna have a shower, drink my coffee, work, and I'll get back to you guys later. The update is I'm still working. It's a really busy day. Uh, I'm basically covering for two colleagues that are on holiday, so I'm working for three at the moment three I'm loving my life so I don't know what I'm gonna get to reading at all today but that's the tea you know that's what happens real life just keeping it real here you guys so let's keep on working for a couple more hours so today has not went according to plan <laughs> I wanted to be a little bit more productive and start reading early but unfortunately I've been so extremely busy with work which is important so I had to get to that that I've had no time for reading and it's currently already 5 p.m. I finished work, thank goat. And I've also managed to edit my movie review for Nope, the last Jordan Peele film, which I should have uploaded on Friday, but I didn't have time, so it's gonna go up today. Um, and I feel like I just need a big long shower to wash the day off <laughs> because it's been a day at work. Um, and then let's see if I have a little bit of time to read even if it's maybe just a little bit of a book because I always feel so bad if I don't have like at least half an hour to read a book a day at least that um, so yeah we'll see if I manage but now let's go to the shower So I think I'm gonna sit outside for a bit to read because there's always someone outside waiting for me. There she is. Oh, and there's the other one. Just to make it clear, these were originally not my cats, but they basically live in the garden now. Good morning guys, it is Tuesday. I had a rough night, we had a mosquito in the room and he beat me multiple times on my hands. So it was great. <laughs> and today is an interesting day because I'm gonna go to the city so I can take you guys with me. Hi guys, so I'm kind of running late, <laughs> which is not news. Um, I'm going to the city today to Rotterdam to meet actually with someone that I met at Yelp. It's a Dutch girl that I met there, and we wanted to go to have a coffee, do some book shopping, of course. Um, and so she's, she's in the area today, she asked me to meet. Um, so I only worked half day today, and I'm gonna go and meet her in the city, like I said, in Rotterdam. We're probably gonna go have a coffee, do some book shopping, all that good stuff. So I'm gonna take my bike to the train station here, and take the train to the city. 
Um, I'd rather do that than take the car, to be honest. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do. Um, and I'll take you guys a little bit around. So actually, I think I'm early. <laughs> what a chaotic self today so i think i'm early but i wanted to go a little bit early anyways because um there are some train strikes here in the netherlands at the moment so i don't know if it's gonna take me longer and i also bike to the train station um so i take my time when i'm on the bike i don't like to stress and sweat on my way to places um yeah so i think we're gonna go to the train station and anyways if i have to wait extra for the train we have books so we're good and here are the babies the outside cat which is not officially mine <laughs> but kind of we call her michelle because we think it's a girl but she's always staring from outside like michael myers so she's michelle Good morning guys it is wednesday and today is going to be a really hard day and probably no reading will be made <laughs> let me explain so i just came back from the gym and my working session was great and i'm still you know keeping up my early morning gym sessions which is also great but <laughs> currently we have two people at work that are sick one is on holidays and the other one took the day off which means basically instead of five people working today, it's just me. So, um, working for five, five people, um, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> but the good news is that yesterday in the city, I didn't overdo it when it comes to buying books. I was able to control myself, so I only bought three books. So in the secondhand bookstore, actually I found this one. This is Birth of a Killer. Uh, by Darren Sean um, and I do love Cirque du Freak books and I don't own any of these other series so I decided to pick it up. Then I got a YA thriller that I was unsure if I wanted to pick up or not but since I saw it at the secondhand bookstore I'm like I might as well pick it up and that is Neverworld Wake by Marisha Pels and it says five friends only one can survive the Neverworld Wake who would you choose? I like what it says. I really like the colors in the cover as well, so we shall see. And the last thing that I bought was actually new um, to support a little bit the author, and that is these release. It's called Burn Down, Rise Up by Vincent Tirado. I think it's something between Urban Legend and Get Out or something like that, so I'm like, yes, please. So I'm really excited to, to read this one as well. Uh, we'll see when I have time, but this is one that I would like to still push in 2022. And now I'm going to grab my big pot of coffee and I'm gonna go to the office and see what I can do working for five people no problem so you guys today has been such a day so as you guys know I went to the gym I had a shoulder and triceps workout this morning then I came back home and I've been working ever since because like I mentioned we are a little bit short on staff at the moment so I can finally sit down <laughs> to read a little bit i also edited a video i did some laundry like i've been busy all day and i'm just gonna take a little bit of time for myself now to read before i go meal prepping so today i'm gonna finish mandy by stephanie sparks because i'm already nearly towards the end and um this is very disturbing <laughs> i think it's her most disturbing work and I will compare these to things like um, true crime, so um, just for you to know how messed up it is. And I'm also reading Mina and the Slayers, and I will shortly 
um, kind of share my first thoughts on the book with you guys. And my last update for today, Wednesday, is that I finished Mandy by Stephanie Sparks and I can confirm that it is extremely messed up. So I think I'm gonna give it a four out of five and I really enjoyed it. I always enjoy her stories and her writing. Um, I have to say that Mandy as a character is a character that at times is gonna frustrate you because of the decisions that she makes. Um, other times you're gonna be happy about her decisions as well so it's kind of like making her really flawed and human even though her gift or her power makes her a little bit special or almost supernatural maybe a little bit um, so yeah I recommend it if you guys like things like true crime by uh, Samantha Kolesnik but please keep in mind that there is a lot of heavy trigger warnings in the book <laughs> the content warnings are in the first page so I'm glad that they put everything there in display because this book is a lot so now currently I'm just waiting for my boyfriend to come back from the gym and I'm gonna meal prep now so that we have some good foods for our gym gains and yeah probably we're just gonna watch some supernatural I just got my boyfriend hooked on supernatural yay me um so we are binging the whole series from beginning to end and we are currently in season three and i'm happy to report that he's enjoying it a lot so we don't have to split up which is good news <laughs> especially after we bought a house together so yeah that's the tea so that's gonna be the rest of my day so i'll catch up with you guys later tomorrow good morning guys it is thursday it is thursday and today i went to the gym it was gloomy dark rainy but i was like you know what we're making these a habit. So I woke up at six and I had my workout today, which was basically back and biceps. So now I'm sore. I had a quick shower. Coffee pot is all ready and full of coffee. And I do have a lot to do today at work because we're still three people short today, at least not four like yesterday, but still a lot to do. And I need to record some movie reviews because I watched Orphan, First Kill and Bodies, Bodies, Bodies and I still have not sat down to do my review so I have to do that as well. So yeah, I will update you guys later. I expect not to have much time to read today because like I said, work, um, record my movie reviews and I do want to participate tonight on Amy McCall's reading sprints. She hosts reading sprints, kind of productivity sprints every Thursday to help her also with her writing, you know, to focus and to take the time to write. So, you know, Thursday is always on her channel and I am going to join her today because I do have a lot of reading to catch up with. So I think that's going to help me a lot. Today we're going to use this mug for my coffee because I'm already channeling Halloween season. A bitch can never be too early for that. Time for an update, you guys. So I was working all day. I finished my regular job and now I have finished recording my two movies reviews for Buddies, Buddies, Buddies and Orphan First Kill. So now I'm gonna go up to the computer and edit one of the reviews so that I can upload it tonight. And like I said, I plan to later on join Amy on her live so that I can read a little bit because I've been lacking, but life is busy, which is also good because you know, I am being a, you know productive with content creation and I am working, which is good because we need money to pay for all the books and all the cats. <laughs> Let's be honest, all the cats as well and all the horror mugs that I'm purchasing lately. So yeah Anyways, I'll see you guys later tonight catching up with some reading Good morning guys it is friday and i'm not gonna lie this morning when my alarm sounded at 6 a.m i really struggled <laughs> but i woke up i went to the gym i trained legs so i feel more accomplished still defeated but accomplished 
<laughs> so um yeah last night i actually started a new book because you know i currently have three books going so that is girl a by abigail dean and this is i think it's based on a true story about some kids that were living with a family that was not very kosher so it's the story about this girl that used to live with this family and she is girl a that's how she was known for when she was able to escape when she was 15 years old and she's telling her story from you know when she was with the family thinking about escaping and all of that i haven't got too far to be honest i only made it to page 40 so so far i don't have many thoughts but this is more of a drier book um the way it's edited the chapters are a little bit long um so it's taking me a little bit longer to get through it but you know as far as i'm enjoying the story it should be no problem um but i don't have many in-depth thoughts at the moment so the rest of the day i have to work obviously um so i'm currently working and then um for today i think this afternoon i'm gonna have time to read um, so I will update you because my partner is going to play pool with a friend. So I'm going to have the home for myself. So we're going to do some catching up with reading tonight. What is it? Why are you always attached to my leg? Why are you always attached? Yeah, what's happening? Good day guys, happy Sunday to everyone. So as you saw, yesterday I went to a metal festival. It's kind of like heavy metal bands with other type of music. Um, so we had a great time, but the day was very long. We still hit McDonald's on the way back home, which we never do, we never eat at McDonald's. Maybe like twice a year when we go to an event or something like that. Um, so today's Sunday, I am absolutely defeated <laughs> from the week. So I decided to take the day off from most of the things uh, that I have to do, you know, adulting. But I am playing the query on PlayStation 5 because I started this a couple months ago <laughs> and I haven't had time to actually sit down and play it. And I was really, really loving it. It's kind of like, you can imagine a horror movie um, in a, as a game and you kind of choose your path, the decisions that you make have an impact on the characters, on the story, on what happens to you. Um, so it depends on what you choose, you will get one, you know, ending or another. So, and I really love it. I think it's fantastic. It, the graphics are insane. So I'm playing a little bit of these and then I'm gonna catch up with Mina and the Slayers, which I'm reading currently and I'm really loving it. I'm going really slow with it because I wanna savor it. Also, I wanna take notes you know for um the live show that i will have with amy discussing this book and also because i know once i read this one i'm gonna have to wait for a long time until hopefully book three it's still not official so support mina and the undead support mina and the slayer so that we all get book three i'm begging you <laughs> um so yeah i'm really loving this one um their new characters are being introduced and i'm just I'm just vibing and it's the perfect book to really get into this spooky mood because you know it takes place on Halloween so I'm just like living my best life at the moment when it comes to reading I'm enjoying all the books that I'm reading at the moment so life is good um yeah it's Sunday um I don't know if I'm gonna update anything else today to be honest because I'm just gonna be chilling at home probably watching some Gorakai because the new season is out and me and my partner watch it or some supernatural, playing some video game, catching up on some books. So there's nothing else much interesting that I have to offer you guys this week. But I hope that you enjoyed the vlog and I hope that I can keep it up and vlog at least one week a month or something like that. 
um because i really enjoy it and i know you guys like it too so let me know down below uh if you enjoyed it hopefully you did and let me know what are you currently reading or what is something that you play or you read when you just need to relax and forget about you know responsibilities and adulting <laughs> all right you guys i hope that you enjoyed and i'll see you all in the next coffee time bye